car behind me warms the cockles of my British heart. It's the Land Rover LRX and it's one of the hottest concepts at the show. It's essentially a sport utility meets coupe and it really is a rocking looking car. It's a terrific looking thing. It's based on the Land Rover LR2. It's five inches shorter, eight inches lower, and it uses a turbo diesel hybrid power plant. There may be some fiction behind that power plant, although Land Rover's looking at hybrid power plants, but if it went into production, it would use gasoline engines and diesel engines, both in Europe and in the United States. Very interesting inside. One of the things about it is because it's smaller than the LR2, they've had to come up with some much thinner, smarter seats that fold down into a much smaller package and give you a lot more interior flexibility. Again, I think the thing about the car industry is it's becoming more of a fashion business, and this car is very fashionable, it's very hot. If it goes into production, and we're pretty sure it will, it's going to do very well for Land Rover. You could say, bearing in mind they're about to be bought by an Indian company, it's like curry and chips.